M0FXB Zygu G90 new firmware version 1.81 August 2025. So I put this link in by Radiolity and just click here version 1.1 click to download and it goes up to let's just click again by the looks of it click and there it is and then we want it's the just the base by the looks of it. It does say and app though so let's have a look. I'm going to click it. I will include the video I made installing the previous version. Uh, so documents, see the update features. You can see my video installing in the background. I'll, put, I'll link that in the description. So it says <clears throat> uh, display unit. So it is the display unit as well. Fix the bug up. The TX error prompt page shows a small black box in the upper right corner. Fix the bug that automatic antenna tuning gets stuck with tuning in split mode. Base unit changes. So the back end. Fix the bug that of no sound when receiving NFM. That's quite major, I would say. Adjusted the display method of ALC value during TX range 0 to 100. That's good for ALC. We want to know the value for me using things like FTA. It indicates the signal level from the mic or line in. The higher the value, the higher the level if working with digi modes. Adjust the line in gain or PC volume to ensure the ALC is less than 50 to get good linearity. Okay, um, that's that. Underneath was the previous one, so we've done that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to make a video installing this, but if you want to do this straight away, because I haven't got time today, in the background is my installation video of version 1.80 and B, whatever. And it's the process is identical and that's going to be in the description. Cheers. Bye for now. Zygu G90 firmware update 1.8. Just a reminder, before you send your firmware, do remember to tick this little tiny box here that says 1K because I didn't show it in the video. If you forget, yeah, this little 1K box here, um, then the, the firmware may fail. So just keep that in mind. OK, so moving on to downloading, click the link I've provided, then the base and app like so. That goes up to your downloads folder and then just put these files where you're going to uh, easily find them. I've got them just here in this folder here. Uh, so we double click firmware, it's the main unit, which is the back end at 1.81 and the front unit, which is here, it says display unit, actually 1.81. So we know where that is. Let's leave up there. And now let's get the radio into firmware mode. We're going to need the blue cable or well, mine's blue, but yours might be black. But anyway, so here's the, the radio. It's turned on at the moment. And what we're going to do, we're going to turn it off use, on the actual radio, turn it off completely like so and then would, I'm going to turn off the power supply but um, keep close to your power supply because you're going to need to turn it on again so I do I do like to completely turn it off just to sort of wipe its memory and if you ever get stuck and your firmware installation goes wrong always do this because the radio won't let you sort of you know get it right again until you've sort of started from scratch and you do that by completely removing the power from the radio so it's what we're going to do we will turn the power back on now as you can see then we're going to plug in the the cable to our one end to our PC and one end to the, on the back where it's marked Com and it's orange. Yeah, you can't miss it. Com orange. Cable's in. The other end's in my PC. Let's get my COM port number by just going right click on device manager. Right click here. And there it is there. Device manager. My computer's a bit laggy. Um, so double click com and there it is there com 14 click it right click and just go properties and make sure the board rate is 115 200 which it is there port settings and just make sure um, so that's all good bring that radio back i've made this video i've made this video of installing this so many times so now go back to your download and open up if you haven't got it already you want the 
the, the software called TerraTerm. I'll put a link in if you haven't got it. It's called TerraTerm. And here it is here. You can just download the latest version. It's like a little yellow T look up there. Um, so once you have got it, I've put the little shortcut here for the little T here. Look, double click and you get you actually get two windows open. So here they are. On the left, you've got the black one. And on the right, you've got this, this, you know, this white one here. So the radio's off at the moment. We're going to go serial. Although the power, I've turned the power back on on the power supply. So there is a feed of power going to the G90. Click serial, go to 14. Here, look. Select. Then we want to click OK like so so you end up with this just just the black window now and i'll go to setup which is the third tab along there you go set set up uh down to serial port click and then you want to select your 14 which you've got and one one five hundred and then new setting okay so now we're going to turn on the radio. This is, and if it fails, don't worry, just keep doing this. I know it's annoying having to go back and forth. Well, we're going to turn on the radio, press the space bar on our keyboard on our PC, and then one, number one. Okay. So, you know, get yourself prepared. Click, make sure you click the black box so it knows that you are selecting things within that box. So I'm going to turn it on. Uh, and then press the space bar. Just hit the space bar then. Now, if it doesn't work the first time, I'll keep going because it didn't work that time. Then just do it again. So I did it again. <laughs> it, it's got to be so fast. You power it on. You see the screen has changed now. Press one. And it's it says that the, here it says, uh, erasing erasing bootloader and it erases it and you the reason you press one is because it gets it when you press the one it says right i'm now ready for the firmware so we are ready for the firmware now you go across to setup here see where it says setup so now we'll go to setup let me just get it right here is file now the first selection so look file transfer across see that and then you're going to send okay just make sure i'm gonna get the right one try again file go down to transfer down to x modem and then send at this point you find the firmware file for the base unit so i've got mine on the desktop let's see if i can find it Okay, I'm uh, I'm seeing it there. G90 main unit firmware. Double click, and it is going in. And it's you know what? It's one of the most frustrating firmwares to do, and you've got to do it twice because just getting into that mode is just annoying. So in a minute, we're going to unplug the cable when it's done and put it into the front on the side, and it's the the bottom one on the side, so it's at the bottom hole on the side here. And it's a slightly different process. But that's gone in. Ooh. That was flashy, but that's a good sign that it's working. So now let's do uh let's start again and let's go to the next one which is the the front unit. So let's go into firmware mode for the screen. What we're going to do is just press and hold the power just here. Push the button. Now remember, we're going to need your keyboard to press the one. So press and hold power. Then press number one. And try to get, oh, make sure you've clicked your black square. Otherwise it won't know you're pressing it. Then before you send, the crucial thing is you send your firmware, you go file, uh, transfer, X modem, send, and you find your firmware. 
that you've put. Remember that really important you click this little 1K thing, otherwise it just doesn't work. But anyway, um, G90 is what we're looking for. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, there is that display unit, double click, and that's gonna go in. And, and don't worry too much if it doesn't work, because you get this whole process, you can just keep repeating. And um, I would definitely tick the 1K box every time. You know, it's the important part of it. And then reboot. And then we got the screen looking good. And now we're gonna do the factory reset. It's quite fiddly because you've got to, I know, let's turn it off, right? And then what you do is hold your finger on the funk, the first button here, sorry if it's a bit dark, and then just very brief press and you get that function reset, then yes. And that's done it. Now let's check our firmware version. And to check that, you just press the function. Press and hold and just go next. Cables everywhere here. Uh, next, 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 next. Right to the end. And it should show 1.81, 1 1.81. 1 .1. Job done. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I mean, it's a fantastic device. Small, but very detailed screen on this it actually looks better in real life look at that look at that i mean if anyone ever says to me what radio do you recommend i get i haven't got a big budget 300 quid odd Press the knob to get one. Sorry, I'm in the way. He's booming through. But anyway, that's enough for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hamtech Zygu G90, new firmware version 1.81, August 2025. Uh, if you look here, 2762125, we can change the mode now to narrow FM. Before you couldn't hear anything. So we'll just get to the same frequency, 2761125. Let's just check. Yeah, and so if we just do a very brief press, you'll see. It picks up the CB, and if we go the other way, look, uh, just go one, two, one, two. Now they're so close together, it's not going to sound great, but one, two, one, two, one, two. But they are right next to each other. Who knows what that's like from a from a long distance? If the harmonics are good, it's just a very quick test here, just on a dummy load. So yeah, uh, NFM though is receiving very clearly. You change the mode here, change the band here. Let me go to HF. This is after the firmware. Upper side band, lower side band. A few tuners there. They've also got, if we move away, when you transmit now, they've also got AGC showing on screen. Other tuners there. M0 FXB, M0 FXB, test, 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 test there. ALC there, and it looks like 0 point and the wattage showing there. One, two, three, test. So there you are, so after the firmware. Bye for now, thank you.